So I was really prepared, at least I thought, to do a video on my friend's 135, and it turns out my sister decided to use my microphone to sing, and the battery's dead. So since we're in the Angeles National Forest on Big Tahunga right now, I don't know exactly how this camera will do in the wind, because most of the time I'm holding the camera, kind of blocking the wind from hitting it. This is my friend Arthur's 2013 135i. It is an M Sport model, and he does have a few things done to it. Suspension-wise, he's done Eibach springs, and that's pretty much it for suspension. He's got it sitting on some nice mirror wheels, which I personally love on this car. And it just the color he's chosen for the wheels match the color of the car very well. And I don't think he could have done a better color combination. Other exterior mods include his 1M bumper paint match to the car, of course, and his carbon fiber lift spoiler. This bumper changes the 135 a lot. I don't like the way it looks with the single tip, but with the dual tip, in my opinion, it looks a lot better and just cleans up the car. Yeah, I was the way, but now I feel the tide pulling back. Ocean flat, off and I lay it as often as I pop up and 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 pop I don't really want to make this a review about it like just any 135 I kind of want this to be more about Arthur's car and that's what I want to bring to my channel is just showing other people's builds and giving my opinions on how they built the car not that I have any credibility I just something I enjoy doing and something I usually enjoy watching is getting someone's opinion on a certain build getting my input it just gives you another per point of perspective from someone who likes this type of car what they would do to this car and the way they would build it. Once again, I want to thank my friend Arthur for letting me borrow the car. And I'm actually going to plug in his business right here and it's Spicy Boys Chicken. So go ahead and check it out right here. Uh, really good hot chicken, probably one of the best in LA. And I figured that's the least I can do since, you know, he's letting me borrow his car. And hopefully something comes out of the channel and I can return favors to all the friends that give me favors for the channel. So one thing I'm going to go ahead and do right away the 135 is the older brother to the 128 and the younger brother to the 1M and it is also in my opinion I believe that when BMW released the M235 this is the car that they got rid of to make room for the M235 since it basically is the same car this car is powered by an N55 which has a twin scroll turbo as of right now installed on the car he has a burger motorsports intake and an evolution raceworks charge pipe and with along i believe an evolution raceworks downpipe i'm not sure what his downpipe brand is but if i remember correctly he told me it was evolution raceworks Uh, you like a little homesick for manual uh, 
but in the canyons using the paddles is a ton of fun so i'm sure he's plenty happy with that and anyone would be i feel like i should talk a little bit about exhaust i don't know exactly what he has but he does have an axle back along with the downpipe and the car does sound very very good arthur's actually woken up my parents driving in front of my house before and they told me at least this car sounds nice and i do love the way his car sounds can't really go wrong with an inline six and i'm no professional at driving arthur So you guys can hear how loud this thing pops. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the 135 and what I like about it and kind of try to understand where Arthur was coming from when he bought the car. Uh, from my understanding, Arthur likes to do freeway rolls and canyon and he does want to track the car. In my opinion, this car is one of the best choices to do all three with. Um, the steering is very nice, very heavy in sport mode, of course. And the car shifts fast, the car's fun to drive, the steering's precise, it's stiff, it's, you get a lot of feedback through the wheel, and you, the car's very predictable. You can tell what the car's gonna do, when it's gonna do it. You can tell if the ass is gonna give out, you can tell if it's gonna spin. What I like about the 135 chassis is that it's very, like, small, nimble, stiff, like, ooh, we got a tunnel. I'm very easily distracted. You get a very light, you get a very stiff, very nimble chassis. It's not that short, but it's fairly short compared to some other cars. It's nice, it sits low when you have it on lowering springs. With the wider wheels and tires Arthur has on the car, along with the wider track stance, it just sits so nice. It looks good, it performs amazing, it handles. It's, it's really just one of the most perfect packages you can get. And in my opinion, it is one of the greatest Beamers created. Now obviously there's going to be enthusiasts from different platforms and I'm personally not a 1 Series enthusiast myself. I just think it's a very well made car and a very good car if an enthusiast is looking for what the 135 offers. And stock they do look a little bit wonky but don't let that scare you because I personally don't like the way the 135 looks stock. But the way Arthur has it set up with the 1M bumper and the way the wheels sit it just makes the car look less tall which is what i think i hate about the stock one series and arthur has just eliminated my dislikes about the way the car looks now for those of you who don't know what the n55 power plant is it was originally introduced as the n54 and it is an inline six made by bmw which came with uh i believe sequential turbos which means you have a smaller turbo and a bigger turbo the smaller turbo helps the bigger turbo spool up so after a while, BMW realized how unreliable the N54 was, and in 2011, I believe 
believe halfway through they released the N55, which responded to boltons less, but was a lot more reliable. Don't let the loss of power scare you away from an N55 car because Arthur's 135 is an N55 and it is plenty fast with just simple boltons. Now, if I was Arthur, there would be a few things I would change, but he has the car set up exactly the way he wants. video because I'm trying to upload one video every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next